in the Practice One program helps increase your office efficiency by improving the way your staff communicates with each other as well as your patients. In order to use the task list effectively, there are a couple of setup steps that need to be accomplished first. The first step is to set up your users under the Setup menu and Security. Under the Security screen, click on the Add User button. In the Edit User screen, you can type in the name of the staff member that you're going to add to this list. You can assign them to a security group if you so choose, and then assign a password. Click OK to save your user. The next step in setting up your task list is to set up your main users list. Click on the task button from the Manage module, and underneath the main tab, you'll start adding your task lists. This list is for your individual users, so the description should be something similar to their login or username. If this particular list is going to be an undated, generalized list, leave the date blank and the date type and object type at none. Click OK to save. Continue adding each list for your individual users. Now go to the setup under tasks. This is where you're going to assign your user inbox. Highlight the username, highlight their task list, and click on set. By taking this step under your setup, this will allow your users to be prompted when they log in. It also allows your users to share tasks from one user to another. To set up the task list feature so it prompts for new user tasks upon startup or login, underneath the setup menu, go down to miscellaneous. Under the miscellaneous setup in the task list section, by putting a check mark in the check for new user task on startup, anytime you add a new task to a user's task list, when they log in they'll receive a notification. For ease of, of use and minimal navigation, you can also put a check mark in the Always Show Task List box. What this will do is it will allow you to see the task list no matter which module you're in, so you don't have to navigate to the Manage module to find it. Click OK to save any changes you make. One last step in your setup for your task list is to make sure that your employees subscribe to any list that they want to be prompted for when they log in. To do this, go ahead and log off as administrator and then have the employee that you want to subscribe to the list sign in. Once that employee is logged in, they'll go to the task list and underneath the main tab, they will single right click and subscribe to any list that they'll want to receive notifications for if there are any new or incomplete tasks. Your task list is now set up for use. Any user can add a task to any specific user's task list. Let's for example say the administrator wants to assign a task to John Doe and have him accomplish it tomorrow when he logs in. You'll click on the task list button and highlight that user's list. Once you've highlighted the list, click on add task. This task list screen allows you to put in the specific task you want this user to accomplish. You can put any generalized note under the description. You can also make this a specific type, whether it's specifically patient related or specifically appointment related.
Click OK to save this task. Now when John comes in the next morning, when he goes to log into Practice Web, the program is going to prompt him that he has an unfinished task on his task list. Once your employee has completed the login process, whether you have your task list docked to the bottom of the screen or towards the right, they'll see all the lists that they are subscribed to. The list that they are subscribed to will have the tasks that are new or incompleted, noting the number of tasks in parentheses, and whether the task is new by having it highlighted a color. To see the specific tasks, all the employee has to do is select that task list, and they'll see all of the tasks associated with that list. To see the detailed task screen, double left click on the task line. The employee will be able to see who this task is from, which list it belongs on, the general list for the task at hand, and at the bottom of the screen, they can either reply to the author of the task and send it back, or they can delegate it to another user. Anytime any changes are noted in the general message screen, once you click OK to save this information, it'll ask you if you'd like to display a pop-up for the intended user or recipient.